Deputy Speaker, and can I thank the Secretary of State for outlining what I believe was a fair and balanced response today to the House. I think he has very clearly dealt with the issues and I think recognises that the complexity of our legacy and our past means that there are many hundreds if not thousands of families who equally have a sincere and earnest desire for truth yeah, yeah. and justice and it all needs to be considered uh, in the round. But if he is committed to uh, informing us of his plans on legacy in the weeks to come, can I ask him sincerely to reconsider the position he has adopted that Northern Ireland Office and Her Majesty's Government will not financially support victims' pensions. It was his government that extended the eligibility criteria last year, did so in a way that increased the costs exponentially and gave commitments in New Decade, New Approach. So if he's sincere about dealing with legacy and supporting those who are victims of our troubled past, will he put his money where his mouth is? and make sure that people get the support they so desperately need. I think the Honourable Gentleman is a hugely important point. I mean, the first part of his question, I fully um, accept and agree with what he said. In terms of um, being able to find that way forward for everybody, I think it, we have a duty on us. And I certainly do believe there is a duty we have to find a way forward on legacy that allows families to have an understanding, to get that information and reconciliation for Northern Ireland, building on the peace and the prosperity we have seen since the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. I think that is a duty we should all take very seriously and do everything we can, working across civic society um, to, to find a way forward that we can all come together and deliver on. Uh, he makes a, an important point, which, Mr Deputy Speaker, if you'll allow me, I would just uh, answer briefly on uh, victims' payments. I do think it has been far too long that victims have waited. I was hugely disappointed with how long it took to get even the designation of the department arranged by the Northern Ireland Executive. Um, I am equally frustrated as others that that is not there. I do know that, to be fair, the Department of Justice and the Minister are working hard, along with the First Minister, to get this done as quickly as possible and are equally with each other passionate about delivering from the victims. I think it is important that, bearing in mind the Northern Ireland Executive has had somewhere in the region of £20 billion this year, and even as part of the £15 billion block grant, it is important that the Northern Ireland Executive works out what amount of that money, in terms of saying it says it's a priority, including the Deputy First Minister, they are putting in to make sure that that money gets the victims who need it. And I would encourage them to pull together an independent fiscal council, as agreed under New Decade, New Approach, to get proper transparency over these funds, which will help budget in a way that will mean that they can properly fund the Department of Justice through the Executive to deliver on this for victims, and I would encourage the Department of Finance to do that.